Hey gang, Pixel Dan here. I just wanted to take a few moments to discuss what has been quite a, a debate lately online. And that is, of course, the armor of Masters of the Universe Classics Hordak. So let's take a look at that armor. Okay, so let's take a look at Hordak's armor here. Now, in order to get the armor off, just like with all of the other Masters of the Universe Classics figures so far, you have to remove the head. Now, you actually have two pieces this time around, since you have both his head and you have the cowl, which is connected to the cape. So it's pretty simply done. The head pops right off, the cowl slides right off, and you're left with just the armored body. Now the armor actually comes off quite easy. There's, as you can see, there's the notches here on the sides and the, and the back. It actually just pops right off of two little pegs. See right here? And again right here. Once you unpop those pegs, it's as easy as sliding the armor right off the figure. Now the armor, unlike the classic one, is made of a much, much softer plastic. Uh, if you remember, the old Hordak figure from the classic line was, uh, just like most of the armor in the classic line, was actually like a hard plastic. This here is actually a very soft plastic, which works very well. Uh, again, it's just two small pegs with two little holes on either side, which is how the armor fastens. It's very simple and yet very effective, I would say. Now, of course, uh, one of the leading into one of the biggest topics of debate is right here. Now, as you notice, when you take the armor off of Hordak, his torso is still all painted black. It's not gray like its skin. It's a solid black tone as if he's still wearing, you know, a shirt or an armor of some sort. And if you look closely, the bottom part of the torso underneath the, uh, the articulation is all solid. There is no sculpting. There are no abs sculpted on like we've seen so far with all of the other figures like He-Man and Skeletor. He is a solid black piece of plastic. Now, reason for that, let's put the armor back on so we can take a look at this again. Okay. So as you can see, Hordex armor back in place. This brings us to probably one of the most debated topics right now uh, on the internet community. It's the fact that Hordex armor cuts off right above his stomach. It does not go all the way down to his belt line. His stomach area is still exposed. Now, if you remember in comparison to like the classic Hordak figure, classic Hordak's armor pretty much went all the way down to the waistline. It covered his whole torso completely. The new Hordak figure cuts off, again, right above the stomach. Now, obviously, the reason Mattel and the Horsemen, you know, designed it this way is as not to alter that articulation on the torso. See, with this armor, with them using the soft plastic and with it being cut off at the stomach, this still allows for a range of motion on Hordak. This is also why we have the smooth plastic here. It's as if it's still, you know, a piece of the armor down. It's just not connected. This way we don't have his, just, you know, just some black painted abs going across. Now, again, like I said, this has caused quite a stir. It's caused quite a bit of debate because people... Some people don't like the fact that the armor cuts off there. Uh, regardless of how, it, how uh, the stomach is flat and painted black and everything, a lot of people just don't like it. Um, they, they feel that it's like he's wearing a, a belly shirt or that he's wearing a bikini top because his, it, it almost appears as if his stomach is still exposed. Now, um, other fans, obviously are okay with this. They don't really think there's much of a problem. Uh, it, it looks fine. Um, and, and if you want me to be completely honest, I really don't mind it. Maybe it's because I'm seeing it here in person. 
uh, and, and everybody else still needs a chance to actually take a look at it, but I, I do think that it, it works. It works fine. I don't think it looks bad. I don't think it's, uh, it's as silly as some people are claiming it to be, saying, you know, it's like a belly shirt or whatever. But, again, this is all completely opinionated. Everybody's going to have their own opinions about this, and uh, that's really all there is to it. But... All I was really wanting to do here was to give you guys a better look at Hordex armor, and I think we have accomplished that. Uh, we, we can see how it looks, how it feels, how it comes off, and of course, you know, what he looks like wearing it. So, there you have it, a look at Hordex armor. So there you go, there's a little bit of a look at the armor of Hordak for you. That way you can kind of get an idea of how the armor works, how it attaches to the figure. And as far as, you know, the, uh, the shortened armor goes, all I can really say is, you've got to make your own opinion on this one. Everybody's going to have their own thoughts, and of course you're always going to have a group of people that is okay with it, and you're going to have a group of people that's just not going to like it. The only suggestion I can really give you is just to wait until you have it in hand and you get a real up-close look at it before you make a final decision. I know a lot of you are planning to buy Hordak even though you dislike his armor, so just take a look at him. When you get him in the mail, you get him unboxed, you get to look at him and hold him in your hand, that's when you can make your real final judgment on how you feel about the armor. Until next time, I'm Pixel Dan. Take care, gang.